The Terra Sniper Rifle in SC5 joins other DLC rifles that focus on some obscure niche feature of limited utility. Before we get into the Terra's specific failure, don't forget to subscribe to GGN on YouTube. I torture myself to unlock the best configurations for every rifle in SC5, and your sub helps validate my personal pain. With that out of the way, let's talk about why the Terra Rifle sucks. One thing you'll notice here is that all the configurations will have the same damage, and that's because there are limited ways to increase said damage. With the damage of 115 per shot at the high end, you're going to want to focus on headshots, especially with the slow rate of fire. The only reason to really go with this configuration, however, is to gain a slightly higher muzzle velocity, which leads us into the stealthiest configuration. At its quietest configuration, the Terra loses a bit of muzzle velocity and drops the audible range to 49 meters. The damage drops to 99, however, which, well, the Gewehr's quietest configuration has the same, with lower audible range and a higher rate of fire. The recommended configuration swaps out the suppressor for the Mark II, which is our usual choice. This brings the damage back up to 115 and the audible range to 60 meters. This is better than the Gewehr and the SRM-1 in regards to audible range, but damage on both beats this out handily, which makes the sacrifice of limited benefit. Overall, the Terra's selling point of high movement speed is of dubious usefulness. The fractions of a second you save moving from cover to cover while holding this rifle are negated by the slower rate of fire, small magazine, and low damage. Take the Gewehr or SRM-1 over this any day of the week. And if you need something for close range, the M1A or DL Carbine are going to be a better choice overall anyway. If you found this information useful, check out ghostgamer.news for all my other guide content, which can be even more detailed than my videos. That's it, ghosts. Stay safe and have fun.